Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell the truth about silver. Today we're diving into how precious metals, particularly gold and silver, could behave in the days leading up to the 2024 US presidential election. With an economy facing a debate about the direction of inflation, which recently has been falling, geopolitical uncertainty, and rapid market shifts. This race between President Trump and Vice President Harris adds yet another layer of intrigue to metals markets. Gold is currently standing at $2,782 an ounce, a 39% increase year to date, while silver has climbed to $34.21, up 48% over the last 12 months. So will these prices hold? or climb even higher, or are we due for a pullback? Historically, presidential elections have had a profound impact on precious metal prices. Let's take a look at three pivotal years. In 2008, with the global financial crisis underway, we saw gold skyrocket as the economy sank. In 2016, as Trump and Clinton's policies created uncertainty, gold prices initially rose then faced a short-term dip as economic confidence returned post-election. During 2020, the onset of COVID-19 saw gold hit record highs amidst economic shutdowns and stimulus spending. Each of these elections created economic and market-specific uncertainty, prompting investors to move towards safe haven assets. As we approach this 2024 election, we're looking at similar drivers, economic volatility, policy shifts, and significant market speculation. Now, why are gold and silver up so significantly this year? A few major factors are at play. Previous high inflation rates. Persistently high inflation prompted investors to turn to metals, which historically protect purchasing power. Now that the rate of inflation growth has declined, with further announcements due imminently. This leads us on to another reason why precious metal prices are rising. Interest rate policies. The Federal Reserve and other central banks around the world have embarked on a policy of reducing interest rates to ensure economies do not enter recession and to aid economic growth as inflation subsides. This supports metals further as the opportunity cost of holding non-interest bearing assets declines geopolitical tensions, conflict zones and global political instability, especially in the Middle East, as well as the Russia-Ukraine war, add to the appeal of safe havens. US dollar weakness. A softer dollar tends to boost gold and silver prices, making them cheaper for international buyers. Though this has not yet fully played out with the dollar index of 104, in time this will correct as further interest rate cuts are introduced. Given these conditions, it's no wonder we're seeing precious metals so high right now. But can they sustain these levels? So will gold and silver continue their rise, or could we see a retracement? A few possibilities to consider. Scenario 1. Prices climb high. If the Federal Reserve signals rate cuts, or if geopolitical tensions intensify, gold and silver could push past their current levels. Central banks around the world are buying gold at record levels too, which might bolster the price further. Scenario 2. Prices face a correction. If, however, we see economic data suggesting rate cuts could be placed on hold, or if election outcomes point towards economic stability, a quick pullback could occur as investors shift to riskier assets. Scenario 3. The geopolitical conflicts subside with peace agreements on the horizon. This will reduce what we call the war premium for gold in particular, which we estimate to range between $100 to $200 an ounce at present. With so much uncertainty, the near-term action in metals remains a coin toss, though the long-term trend for both gold and silver remains positive. Let's take a closer look at how the specifics of this Trump-Harris election could influence the market. Trump's stance. 
Historically, President Trump has favored strong economic policies, tax cuts and deregulation. His re-election might signal to markets a potential uptick in economic activity, potentially adding to US dollar strength, but also increasing inflationary pressures. Trump's promise to introduce a wide range of tariffs on international competitor goods will undoubtedly cause prices to rise short term, thereby increasing inflation. Economists argue over the timeline as to when tariffs then become advantageous as domestic manufacturing and production increases. Needless to say that even the fear of tariffs may have a short-term negative impact on the ability to reduce interest rates further, thereby affecting gold and silver prices. Harris's approach. Vice President Harris has supported policies that emphasize social spending and regulatory oversight. This might be seen as inflationary by some investors, pushing gold and silver prices even higher if economic stability seems at risk. The not very detailed statements made by Harris concerning her economic strategy does create, again, a degree of uncertainty amongst investors should she win the general election, all of which adds to precious metal volatility. Market volatility. The unpredictability of this election alone could be enough to keep gold and silver prices volatile as investors hedge against potential policy swings and changes in US economic direction. So to wrap up, while gold and silver prices may see some short-term volatility, the backdrop of high inflation, geopolitical uncertainty and economic shifts creates a strong case for continued investment in these metals. Precious metals have always been a hedge in uncertain times and 2024's election may be no different. Whether prices rise further or pull back, the long-term outlook remains positive, as both metals retain their appeal as safe haven assets. So for those wondering whether to hold on, add more or wait and see, now may be an excellent time to review your investment strategy with a long-term view in mind. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things gold, silver and beyond. And before you go, if you haven't done so, please also pop over to our sister channel, Finances Do Matter, and make sure you subscribe there. We've placed links to this channel in the description box and comment section below. In addition, we have recently produced a number of videos which have been bullish precious metals as we are correctly forecasting their rise. So please look through those videos particularly if they've been produced in the past two weeks. Thank you once again and we look forward to seeing you soon.